Hello everyone, once again, I just wanted to post a quick video in connection with the last video I posted about why does God allow suffering. And we talked about that sin is the cause of this suffering, and the devil brought sin to the world. So it is not God who should be at fault here, it is Satan, it is the devil. And so the question could then be asked, well didn't God create the devil? Didn't he create Satan? So couldn't he be actually the one responsible for sin and for suffering. And so, I want to look at what the Bible has to say about this. Now, God created Lucifer, who is a perfect and sinless angel. And Lucifer made a devil of himself. He made the choice to become what he is today. And freedom to choose is really a cornerstone principle of God's government. So, if Lucifer didn't have the choice, then he would have, like we discussed in the last video, been a robot. But God gives us all free will. He gives us all choice. So let's look at Ezekiel 28, verses 13 through 17, and see what the Bible has to say about Lucifer. Starting with verse 13 in Ezekiel 28. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created, till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. So, what are some positive characteristics we see before his fall, before this change? We see Lucifer, we see this beautiful angel. He has beauty, he has wisdom, he was perfect in all of his ways. And he was a covering cherub. Now, what is a covering cherub? God has a throne in heaven. And on the left side and on the right side is an angel. And these were called the covering cherubs. So, Lucifer was not only perfect, he wasn't only God's most beautiful creation, but he was a covering cherub. He was right there next to the throne of God. And it, it goes on to discuss that he was perfect in all his ways till iniquity was found in him. So iniquity was then found in him because of the choices that he made. Not because of God put this iniquity in him. Let's look at Isaiah 14 and, and we'll see a little bit more. We'll add a little bit more to this picture. Isaiah 14 and verses 12 through 14. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. So, what caused Satan to come into existence? What caused Lucifer to fall? Pride? Jealousy? Discontent? Self-exaltation? These all caused him to fall. He wanted the worship that God received. He wanted the worship that God deserved. But he felt like he should get it. Wasn't he beautiful? Wasn't he full of wisdom? Wasn't he a covering cherub? So in his mind, he deceived himself. He puffed himself up. And because of this, he fell. These thoughts came into his mind. And so let's look at Revelation 12. Revelation 12, verses 7 through 9. What happened because of Lucifer's sin? And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. 
And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the world, and his angels were cast out with him. And if you look a little bit earlier there in verse 4 of chapter 12, it says that his tail, the dragon, drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. Now elsewhere in the Bible we find that stars are a symbol for angels. So Lucifer not only was thrown from heaven, but he brought a third of the angels with him. He deceived them. And it says that he was thrown down to the earth. Satan's headquarters is the earth, not hell. This idea of this red, red guy with horns and a pitchfork and a, a pointy tail that is in hell and constantly, you know, making the flames grow higher and hotter. This comes from paganism. This is not a true biblical description of, of Satan and, and what he is. I mean, he was a beautiful angel. And so, if you look to Genesis 126, you see that God gave Adam and Eve dominion over the earth. And then when they sinned, they lost this dominion to Satan. And you can see this in Romans 6:16. 6, and then he then became the ruler or prince of the earth. And you can find that in John 12, 31. So Satan, he bitterly hates humans because they were created in God's image. He hates God, but he can't touch God. So instead, his venom, his anger, his hatred, it's, the, it's, it's directed at us. It's directed against the people who are God's children. He's hateful. He's a vicious murderer, and his aim is to destroy us. His aim is to destroy you and me so that he can hurt God. So I hope this paints a, a clearer picture of, of who Satan is, of who the devil is, and that God didn't create Satan as this adversary. He created him as perfect and beautiful and one of the covering cherubs, but he also gave him free will. He also gave him choice, and Satan made the choice to be who he is today. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, put them down there in the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay updated, then subscribe to my videos. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you have a good evening.